guys, check it out. I built this awesome scroll saw stand from plans I got from Steve Carmichael at uh, Carmichael's workshop. Uh, I'm going to have a link to uh, his video of how to build this and also uh, a link down below in the description on how to get the plans. Uh, but if you want to see how I built this, hang around. After downloading the plans, I imported the PDF files into my 3D software and I did a complete model of the whole assembly of the scroll saw stand. And I did that because I thought I was going to make some changes to it. I kind of had some ideas. and I very seldom uh, buy plans and make them exactly to the plans anyway. I usually end up changing something, if not, you know, just starting from scratch. But after I got the whole 3D model done, I looked at these, uh, you know, looked at it and thought, I really like this design. Uh, Steve did a great job with this. So I decided to build it exactly as is, and I didn't change a thing. But the only thing I did do different is... Uh, I brought the, uh, the PDF files into my uh, VCAR Pro software, and you can see here I've got uh, sheet one up here and sheet two here, and I had a piece of uh, scrap plywood that was 48 by 47, so in order to get these parts to fit, I turned it into two pieces, uh, 48 by 23 and a half, and got all of the main pieces. I did use my table saw and band saw and things like that to make some of the smaller pieces for the actual mounting of the scroll saw to the stand where it has the tilt. But other than that, all the big pieces were, were cut here on my CNC. After the parts came off the CNC, I just sanded the edges a little bit and then started gluing them up. I also used a pin nailer to hold them together while the glue dried. After the glue dried, I came back and drilled some pilot holes and added some long wood screws just to make sure it would be nice and sturdy. I added some really nice 3 inch locking casters to this and I think it's going to work out really nice. They uh, work, roll really smooth and it's really sturdy once you lock the casters in place. I decided to add these little risers so the scroll saw would tilt forward uh, just like Steve did. And I, I really think I'm going to like this. It worked out really nice. And here I've got the scroll saw moved around to my garage so I can scroll while my CNC is running. Okay, I want to thank... Uh, Steve Carmichael from Carmichael's Workshop for these fantastic plans for this uh, scroll saw stand. And in the words of my good friend Charles Deering, scroll on. <laughs>